All right, so I deleted the old radio video and had to make a new one. And I'll show you why here in about 30 seconds. These are the speakers I ended up getting. Um, that's the part number. It's a three-way speaker. Let's see if I can show you real fast. I didn't plan this out very well, but that's all right. Hang on. All right, that's the speaker that I'm running. Now the problem is, and these weren't even that much cheaper than the Alpines, which I should have gone with, but they come with a crossover and they have three terminals on each speaker, which is a pain in the butt. So what I had to do is so that's the antenna wire or the wire for the bluetooth there's the amp same as it was i had to rip more of this out so that i could fit these crossovers in you know, it's kind of hard to see right now so there are the crossovers right there now i believe that's the rear and that's the front might have it backwards, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I had to make a new harness. So these are the power wires still. They'll be taped up as soon as I get everything cut to length. I don't know how long exactly they have to be. The front wire for the speakers is right here. This is going to the front speaker, which is a whole nother set of problems that I'll show you here in a second. <clears throat> And this is to the rear speaker. And it's crazy long, not exactly sure how long it needs to be. This is just like a rough guess. I kind of ran it up around the A pillar and roof where the factory wire harness goes. So that's that, all taped up, ready to roll. So now the problem is radio's done. Those are hooked in, everything's hooked in, Hink sh heat shrinked. Ready to roll. So let me get up in the car. I'll show you what the next problem is that I'm facing. That I'm going to figure out next. Alright, let me get under there. We'll be right back. Alright, so I'm on my back upside down under the dash. So the speaker is held on by those two nuts. One there and that one. These aren't even close to lining up. I'm like 90% positive it was a 6 by 9 that came out of here. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. But the problem is the clock is uh, not letting the speaker sit flush. So I'm gonna pop this back out and remove the clock and hopefully I can get it to sit in there. But I mean, it has like zero room. I might see if I can trim that frame down a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but I have to do something. So. And I've already cut all the harness wires up on the uh, crossovers, so I can't return them. So I have to make them work at this point. So that's where I'm at now. I need to get those fit. I need to get this flush. I need to get the light socket back in there. That had to come out wherever that is. I don't even know where that's sitting right now. There it is right there, I think. No? Yeah, that's it. So that's the next step. See it scuffing up the powder coat right there. So that's what I'm working on now. So I'm gonna to get to work and we will continue this when I get something figured out. Success. So I pulled the clock out, pulled the speaker out, and I don't know if you can see it, but I took my step bit, a step bit, and I opened these holes up like crazy. And I got everything to line up. Did that, got the clock back in, and then, uh, if I can get up out of here. Jeez, man, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Speakers in. 
Man, it's hot and humid out here. I'm dripping sweat. Now I have to find the screws for this thing. I have no idea what I just did with them. So I guess that's the next step. Oh, never mind. There they are. So I have to toss this back on. Oh, God, all the holes line up. And there we go. Like butter. So that's it. Stereo is officially done in the front. Got to run the wire up over there. Find the spot in the back. I think I'm going to have to finish that panel off back there. I think it's pretty much open the whole way. From other pictures I've seen, I haven't looked at mine yet. Because I have that carpet in there. And it's covered in mouse crap, so I haven't pulled it out. But uh, I'll figure that out later. As long as I have the radio in and all that, and I can get this dash trim back on, and the dash will be done. And then I have to buy a battery. And then she's ready to fire up. But I think I'm going to pull the motor and do the five-speed swap first. I've already gone this long. I may as well finish the job, right? But anyway, there it is. Stereo's finished.